Today I'm going to do a um, beautiful purple eye. I've been um, missing out on doing a lot of purple eyes. I have a lot of purple eyeshadows, a lot of purple pigments, but I just have not done any looks lately. So I decided to come on here and do a look for you guys. This is the look that I'm going for today. It's very, very beautiful, very vibrant. Um, the camera is just not doing any justice to this look, but hopefully I can capture it on camera so that you guys can see the looks either in the beginning of this video or at the end of the video. Um, my um, inspiration came from this, which is crazy right now because on camera it looks blue but it's actually a very beautiful purple color. This nail polish is from Wet n Wild. It's called, if I can remember, Buffy the Violet Slayer. It's a new look from a new Wet n Wild color. It's a very, very beautiful, beautiful purple. And it's crazy because it actually just doesn't even show up. And I also got my inspiration from my shirt. Um, as you can see, I'm going to church and I wanted to wear this shirt and I figured, oh, well, let me look for some colors that I can match it with. So this is the look. Very, very, very pretty. I'll tell you what I'm wearing on my face, ladies. I have, oh, and I should have brought it. I have it upstairs. But what it is, is I wanted to look for drugstore foundation that would work well for my skin. Um, you know, when you don't want to really go to MAC and spend $27 on some foundation plus your mineralized skin finisher. So what I've been doing as of lately in terms of my foundation routine, actually, you know what? I'll make that another video. That's what I'll do because I don't want to waste any time with this look. So. My next video will be exactly what I've been using as of late for my foundation and what I've been doing, which has been working out great for me. And um, I'm still going to be using NW45, but this I this um, foundation that I found is absolutely fantastic. So let's move on. On my lips, what I'm wearing is a beautiful plumish pink color, very nude. This is the color right here. It's by Avon. It's their gla uh, Glaze Wear Lips Gloss that they have out. And this one is in Chic Mauve. Very, very beautiful. So that's all I have on my lips, ladies, with some clear gloss. Um, as for a uh, highlight, this is also what I've been doing lately. I've been using Wet n Wild um, Princess bronzer i think yeah the, the the name is princess it's their bronzer and it's i think two dollars at um walgreen so this is it right here i've been using it as a highlight up here and it's been working great i absolutely love 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 this so this is a good drugstore bronzer to use and i have been using the applicator that comes with it their um blushes that they have are good too they um they're a little chalky, but if you know how to work with it, it's it's it'll work. And that's what I'm wearing on my cheek underneath. So that's all that I'm wearing on my face. Now let's start for the, <laughs> the eyes. Um, what I'm going to be putting, I've already used my Urban Decay Primer on my lid. I'm going to be using ELF's um, Cream Eyeliner um, as a base on my lid. And this one is in Plum Purple. And that's the color. So I went ahead and applied that plum color to my lid. I'm using it as a base to capture the purple. And again, the e.l.f. cream liners are great for that. Now I'm going to go into this beautiful purple color. And it's from Color Beautiful. Um, it's just her purple pigment that she has out. I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm going to put that on the lid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of it and drop it on my hand just like that and that's actually a lot put some back okay take some on my hand and I'm going to pat it into the brush 
just to grab the colors. That's the color, and we're going to put it on the lid. And I'm doing a patting motion. Now what I'm going to do is go into Vibrant Grape by MAC, and I'm actually using this to um, put right in the crease. Grab some of that color, knock off the excess, and I'm putting it right on the outer third of the lid and into the crease and bringing it in. And I'm just smoking it out ever so lightly. This color is absolutely such a beautiful color, the lid color. I love it. It's a great purple. And I'll make sure to post everything that I've been using in the description box so that you guys can reference it again. Um, because I noticed that even though I say what I'm using, I still get the question, what is it that I'm wearing? So I'm just going to go ahead and put stuff in the description box from now on. I used to do it and then I stopped, but I'm going to start again. So that is it. Just a tad smoked out. The next thing that I'm going to do is use cranberry, and I'm putting cranberry right on the crease bone, ever so lightly on the crease bone, and that's just to add a little bit of pop of color to this look. As a highlight, I'll be using my e.l.f. Uh, I told you about the colors that are in here. And I'm going to be using this color, which you can't even see, <laughs> but it's called Pink Ice, and that's going to be my brow bone color, my highlight color right underneath the brow bone. There's the look, ladies. Very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and add my eyeliner, my mascara, and I'll come back and show you the final look. Bye. And there you have the final look, ladies. Very, very beautiful. Absolutely love this look. Um, so, yeah, I'll make sure that everything's posted in the, the description box. Please check out the links that are below as well and um, view my Facebook page. I've been um, putting up some photos of photo shoots that I've been doing, trying to start my business up. So, go ahead and support that channel as well. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah. Bye.